Hello guys, this is part two of my Mega Mail Call from Hot Wheels Don. Yeah, lots of good stuff here. This is going to be Matchbox and Tamika. And also, we got some real toys here. Forgot to include those in the other video, so we'll start with them. Uh, no, these are Motor Max, not real toy, never mind. Uh, of course, you know I love these. Lexus GX slash Land Cruisers. So I actually got three of these. Or not Lexus, GX, not GS. There is a GS in here though. We'll get to that. So there's, you know, that one's pretty beat up. And then we got two of these white and green ones. Uh, yeah, I'm just stacking these things up. I love them. Bam. Yeah. Unfortunately, Motor Max doesn't really do much anymore. They always did unique stuff. Got a Ford Mustang convertible. That's interesting. I like how they did the interior. It's a good casting. You have an Acura NSX. A lot of these will probably get repainted. Kind of funky. Kind of funky. Next up, we have this one is a Motor Max casting, but it was released under the green light line. Um, I don't know how that happened. They must have had some sort of partnership. I know green light also had a partnership with Malibu Internationals uh, when they were starting their business. So this is a shared tool between Motor Max and green light, I guess. I have the Motor Max version of this, and you can see this is the green light one, so the only difference really is like the rubber tires. Uh, and I like this one, this is a limo service. Pretty clean, pretty clean, I like it. That's a really, really early green light. Continuing with the Motor Max, we got a Ford Explorer. These Motor Max always have weird decos, they make good customs though. And here's one that I've needed for a while. This is the Motor Max Toyota Camry. This, I think, completes my Motor Max Toyota collection, which is very nice. Yeah, I have them all. All the Motor Max Toyotas. Awesome. I can make the initial D one out of this. There was a Camry and initial D. That one might be a little older though. I don't know what exactly this model is. And then, oh yeah, this is not a uh, Motor Max, but it was very interesting. I thought it was like a Motor Max or something, but it's actually a X Concepts. That's your brand. And this is a Cadillac Escalade. It says it's true 164 scale. I don't know. I might need someone to... Uh, I mean, it looks pretty good. I should clean up some of the dust. We're missing the mirrors. We have some broken tail lights. Uh, it looks like it was a good quality casting. Just it's a bit worn. Lens headlights, lens tail lights. And this would be from the modifiers series so now a lot of these early 2000s brands did some sort of modifiers this one is held together by screws so i assume there was like modifications you could do to it the hood is plastic it does open and you can the engine is held in there by screws too so maybe you could swap the engine i don't know uh, there's your screws on the base x concepts 2002 made in china there's your 2002 cadillac escalade 164 scale you got a separate exhaust piece, which 
looks like it goes under the rear axle and the rear axle is actually a separate piece and you can see some springs under the rear axle there and actually they're in the front axle too this thing has suspension that's awesome i might have to look into more of these castings because you know it's no surprise that suspension is a seller for me <laughs> i like i like the suspension All right, now into the matchbox. Got a couple of Honda Ridgelines here. Um, yeah, I love the Ridgeline, so. Always, always gotta grab them. <laughs> got tons of them. Here we have a Scion XB. Very nice release of this casting. Love that one. Um, here's a Chevy Tahoe, a yeah, 97 Chevy Tahoe. I was thinking I was gonna customize this one. I didn't know, A, it was mint. This thing's like minty. And B, I didn't know it had yellow windows. I mean, I could see that, but I didn't think, I wasn't thinking when I got it. I'm, oh, I'm gonna customize it. I wasn't thinking about the yellow windows. Really, if I do black, yellow windows kind of look good. I mean, I can do it black. I don't know, but there's mint. This is the Blue's Clues release. That's a good show. Watched it as a kid. They kind of ruined it now, but... That's how, that's how all the shows go. Half the ones I watched when I was little are either off the air or they've just been ruined. Just been, like, rebooted and... They're just so... There's less to them than what they were. It's quite sad, but... Next up, we got an RX-7 here. Always nice, always nice. This one's got quite thick paint on it, though. The, the rear covered up the tail lights really good. Maybe I can customize this one. I don't know. It looks like there's a bug. Oh, yeah, there's a bug in there. Ew. Yeah. Don't like bugs. Not a fan of bugs. It's probably dead. It looks like I got caught in a spider web. Uh, yeah, that's another, that's another thing with buying used cars. You have to deal with bugs. Yeah. Here we have a, it's kind of a rare piece and I'm surprised it's in good condition. This is a super fast Matchbox. This is probably, I think this is the first one I have with the super fast wheels actually. The old super fast wheels and I kind of like them. They're really nice. They don't fit on every car, but they're nice wheels. And I love the paint on this one. It's very gloss white. Just wish it didn't have yellow windows. Jeez, Matchbox like to put a lot of yellow windows on everything. Oh, here's another Tahoe. Wonderful. This is actually good condition. I have another one that's pretty bad. I, don't, I have so many of these Tahoes now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Um, yeah. Actually, this is a different casting. Is it the same body? Hold on. Actually, you know what? I think they're the same body, but they just have different grills. This is a newer model. You can see with the split headlights, and this one's just got the two boxes. Even the bases are the same. Well, except for the, the grill part of them. This one's a 97, and this one's a 97. They can't both be 97s. So maybe they can. They got different grills and different headlights. This one looks much older than a 97, but I, I don't know. I could be wrong. This one looks more like the 2002. Like to go along with the Silverado. The 2001, or actually really the 1999. I'm thinking of the 99. This looks like a 99. That looks like a 97. I don't know. What happened there? Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were, they did use the same base and they changed the grill. I guess they forgot to change the words on the base. I don't know. Uh, oh, I forgot another eclipse. That's a nice one. I think this is based on the concept. It's a nice casting. Uh, 
Um, oh, and you know, speaking of restoration, this one, this one's gonna be fun. This thing's mangled. And it's missing his hood. It's kind of unfortunate because I could probably do something really good with this. And uh, the roof's cracked. Yeah, this thing is. Oh, oh, and the bolt. This thing has two rivets in the rear, and both of them snapped. <laughs> so, it's a clunker. That's going into the junkyard that I don't have. Uh, oh, yeah, here's another one. I don't know. I, I thought these things were licensed, but I guess they're not. This thing is bent. <laughs> I thought these were Isuzu's, but they're not. They're just um, regular old generic castings. They look like an Isuzu. I just want to get like a fleet of them, like a dealership, and just paint them all white. Just have no boxes on the back of them. Just, just like they're brand new trucks at a dealership or something. Unfortunately, this style is kind of out of style now. Isuzu has like, this does look like an old Isuzu. With these box headlights. And actually, the badge kind of looks like a Mitsubishi. Could be a Mitsubishi too. Um. Uh, and the Volvo collection grew a little bit with this purchase. Got a nice XC90, is it? Yes, I had to check the other ones. It's an XC90. And the next one here is a C30. Uh, actually, you know what? Oh, I almost forgot. I got two of these. Two of these XC90s. The wheel variation. Oh, I dropped my light. This one has the construction wheels, they call it. Like, these are usually used on, like, the big construction trucks. And then we got this one with the saw blades on card. Very nostalgic card for me because this is what I saw in the store. 2006. Yeah, I was, like, one year old. Maybe not even, uh, depending on when this came out. Yeah, this is the artwork that I saw way when I was little. So I, I'll keep that one on card, not gonna open it. Here's the other C30, in good condition. Some of these are gotta clean. Like there's some that you can tell came from collections cause they're like minty, they're just a little dusty. Uh, like this is one of them. So yeah, the seller Hot Wheels Don, he just gets, he buys in bulk really. Uh, he'll buy them in bulk and then redistribute them to uh, his seller or his uh, buyers, his friends, you know, whatever. He puts them up on Instagram and, you know, you circle what one you want and you ask him. There's a lot that I've circled and I haven't got. Uh, pretty lucky to get most of these, though. I have Dodge Charger. I love the old Dodge Charger casting. We don't see it much anymore after they did the 2018. I actually have this one on card too. Not from Hot Wheels Don. I just have it. Um, yeah, that's a nice release. Pretty good condition other than a little chip out of the black part. Here's another one that you can tell from a convent or a collection because it's mint otherwise. This is the uh, the Morgan Aeromax. Yeah, see it's dusty. Oh, it does have rusted axles. That's not too bad. At least it's no chips. Uh, but I should clean up some of the dust. These things are these things are kind of hard to find. I didn't realize that. I was just filling gaps in my Matchbox collection, and of course, I don't need everything, but I think this vehicle's so cool. Just, it reminds me of a Buick Riviera in the back there. I like it. I, I thought, I just, like, oh, I need a, I need to have at least an example of that. Uh, so I, I grabbed it. Uh, everything's really cheap from this guy, so, because he does buy in bulk, so it's easier for him to sell stuff cheaper. So, yeah, that... That fills my Morgan collection. I don't. I think that's probably like my only Morgan. <laughs> but here's a fun one. I do have one of these, but of course I always like to grab them. 
the New York State Trooper. There you go. Sadly, this livery is not done very often in diecasts. I know Greenlight does it once in a great while. But yeah, I see these things day-to-day -day basis everywhere. Actually, they're, they're kind of like a really deeper blue now. They've changed it a bit. They're almost black, and I think some of them are black. I really like the Premier. I think, are these Premier, or they, were they just like a spin-off of the Premier where they did police cars? Because I know I've seen a lot of premium police cars like this. They always detail the interior. This being a Camaro, you cannot see in it, but <laughs> there are some nice details in there. See a two-tone. Yeah, I got two of these things now. I love them. I know Greenlight also did a Utica police vehicle, which that surprised me because that's that's a town really close to me. I don't want to say really close, probably like half an hour. Um, we, but yeah, I always like it when they do castings that or like the police cars that are local. And here we have a Matchbox Supra. I don't know what happened to the tailgate. It won't open any farther and it won't close any farther. It's just stuck there. There's also no rear window and there never was a rear window. So, yeah, this is the... Oh, did I call the Celica? I think it's a Supra. Yeah, it's a Supra. Third gen Supra. It's a casting I needed and this will be a fun little custom. Uh, the Matchbox from this era, I don't really see fit restoring them because their decos are just so nuts. I'd rather just do it my own way. And I'd probably have to paint the hatch body color too. Most likely. I don't know. They could have been black like that. Uh, but definitely to fix this, I probably will have to drill it because it looks like it's been pulled. It's got to sit farther back in there and just... Yeah, that's stuck. Here, a very nice example. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I got it in the light. There's a bit like paint bubbles on the hood. Um, otherwise, it is a pretty nice. Yeah, I should clean some of these. Because the dust makes it look a lot more worn than it actually is. But you can kind of see the paint bubbles on the hood as it goes around there. It's a Mercedes something I didn't check. CLS 500. Uh, other than that, uh, rusted axles. He probably got this from the same guys that he got the Morgan from. Yeah, it's, it's in good condition for what it is. And there's not really any chips I can see. There's one on the running board there. Otherwise, pretty good, pretty good. And of course, here's a Lexus uh it says gs oh yeah because i said that earlier i actually forgot i had this one already i thought this one was black when i bought it but it's actually blue uh maybe oh you know what no maybe it is black that's my blue one no that one's a blue too interesting mine my original one is much lighter blue, but I think they're both blue. Mine's got a tan interior, too. I thought they were the same car at first. I'm like, oh, no, did I buy one I already had? But, uh, no. It's, it's just color difference and interior difference. I think one of them was from a five-pack and maybe one was in the main line. I swore that was darker. Next up, another avalanche. I've gotten a couple of these over the past weeks or so. I think I'm sat on my <laughs> avalanches now. This one I'll probably customize. You know, the robots movie. That movie always scared me. I don't know about any of you that watched it. Well, I mean, probably not. Most of you were probably of a adult age when you watched it. Yeah, I watched it, like, young, and it was kind of scary. <laughs> you know, just the fact that they, uh, that machine... Well, they are robots, they're all machines, but they patrolled the streets, and if you're out at night, they'd suck you up. <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird concept, but whatever. They just, you're not supposed to be here, we're going to dismantle you now. It's kind of dark. But, I guess that's an age gone by now. 
because they're they ooh, they wouldn't dare to do a movie like that now. Oh, you'd have everybody complaining. Ford Ranchero. I realized I didn't have this one. I love this casting. I just need to wheel slap it. Those wheels look horrible on this. <laughs> I need the disc wheels. I know it had the disc wheels. This is a variation. Um, unfortunately, the disc wheel one is harder to find, I believe. It wasn't supposed to be. That's what it was supposed to be. But, uh, yeah, somehow they made a bunch of these. These are the common ones because they're ugly. That's, that's what I think. <laughs> they don't fit on this vehicle at all. Those wheels fit on more like 90s vehicles. Like, because I put them on my uh, LS and they work. My Lexus, my first gen Lexus LX, they work well on. But like when Matchbox uses them on that or the, the Honda Civic, no, they don't look good at all. Maybe I have a Matchbox Mustang. Don't know what, what's up with this one. I didn't have this casting. Actually, no, I had one with a roof on it. But now I got the convertible. And someone thought they could paint the headlights green. I don't know, maybe they're replicating their own with tinted headlights. Who knows? Now, the used cars always have a story to them. Like this one, for example. Here we have a nice Ford Explorer. Or, no, it's an Expedition. Expedition, yeah. The old Expeditions are probably about the size of a current Explorer. Just, the cars just keep getting bigger and bigger. The Explorer was actually very small when it started out. Um, it's much bigger today. But this is probably the size of a current Explorer. That's why I get it confused, because I think it should be an Explorer. Yeah, but speaking of stories, this one's seen a couple battles in the bathtub. That's what I'd say. <laughs> got rusted with axles. I got rusted axles. Love this casting. I have a couple of these. Um, this specific release, uh, I have a couple of. Because I like... This is like one of the only ones that had suspension. After that, they got rid of it. So I always grab them when I can. And maybe I can like swap it, swap the base onto one that doesn't have suspension. And then, yay. Uh, this one's actually good condition though. I always have a hard time drilling them. And, oh, wow, a Honda Ridgeline. Another one. Red rusted axles. That's the theme today. Honda Ridgeline and rusted axles. I'm sure to name this episode. I think I have this one. Um, No, this is not the same one. No, those are really different. Jeez, I'm not good at <laughs> colors today, apparently. Uh, this one also has tail lights and headlights that are detailed. Uh, which I did not do. So this is this is just a stock release. Also, yeah, the trailer hitch broke off. I just sanded it down more. And I wheel swapped it because the other wheels were just jagged. Man, there's your ridge line. This one having the premium wheels makes me think it has suspension, but it isn't. Here at the Texaco F-150. Pretty rare, ca or pretty rare release, actually. And I like how it's fully detailed. They even did the bed all black. But yeah, those wheels... Every time I see those wheels, the casting has suspension. So I thought this one had suspension, too. But no, it doesn't. They also painted the base black. You can tell that it was painted. That, that's not plastic black. That's, like, paint black. So it's interesting. Front bumper is metal. Not metal, it's chrome. Maybe that's why they painted the base black. Oh, you know, that might be a separate piece. No, no, that that's why they painted the base black. Because that bumper's part of the base. And the rear bumper too, see that? Yeah, so the base was chrome. And then they painted the bottom of it black. Wow. Wish Matchbox put more effort like this on their current premium vehicles. Like, I don't know, if they gave just a little extra oomph of detail like that, instead of just painting the whole base of it silver, I wouldn't mind if they got rid of the rubber tires for that, because the Matchbox rubber tires are weird, let's be honest, they're just weird. 
Mo a couple of them are old Hot Wheels tires, and a couple of them are, like, old Matchbox tires. Like, oh, uh, they don't really have anything new t in terms of rubber tires. They should just use the modern Hot Wheels ones. I don't know why they don't. Just share them. Be nice. Or just create your own. Just make the steelies, but make them rubber. I don't know. I don't know, but we're not Matchbox. We can have everything we want. Here are the BF Goodrich plumber van. <laughs> Pit side services, yeah, right. He's gonna he's he's yeah yeah, he's he's cleaning the bathrooms in the pits, that's what he's doing. I thought this release was cool though. This might be the first release, I don't know, it's pretty clean. That's usually what signifies a first release, because then they go crazy. This week, this casting has seen a couple of police liveries too, and it's also seen some stock liveries. So they have multiple tools of this, eh, no pun intended, but they have the one with the hole in the front for the light bar. They have the one with two holes for the ladder, and then they got just a plain one. Which is, actually now they got a third one, or a fourth one, because the light bar is now a hole in the roof rather than a separate piece. It's just a sunroof at this point. Here we have quite a rare casting and I didn't even realize when I bought when I claimed this I didn't realize what it was this is a I think it's a best of matchbox or is it best of world or something because it's a German livery but it has a metal base and it's heavy one of the only times it matchbox Back in this time, like, what was it? Uh, not 2001. Probably, like, in the golden age, I'd say. Maybe late 2000s. They did two sets with metal bases. Their first time doing metal bases since the Lesney era, era. And they never used any of the castings again. They're just all one-off metal base, metal body. This is one of them. They never did another one. I don't think they did. I don't believe they did another release with the metal base. They've all been plastic. Uh, the bad thing about this casting, though, look at this fitment on the front. Very nice, right? What the heck's going on over here? Yep, that's a common issue with this plastic or this casting. That the this one fender is just way too big. The other, the front fender looks fine, but yeah, that one looks terrible. We got a couple Nissan Zs. Of course, can't go wrong with the 350Z. Especially because this one's nicer than the Hot Wheel. The Hot Wheels one is just weird. And I think the blue one's my favorite, though. It's, look at that. Look at that blue. That's blue. It's almost accurate to the real one. Here we have the K1500. I teased this one a couple of videos ago when I showed the Taco Bell Tahoe. But here's the Taco Bell K1500. And this is a very desirable casting because it's the only time Matchbox did it with stock suspension. Yeah, my wheel's kind of bent, but just imagine stock suspension. So yeah, this is one I've been wanting for a while because the lifted ones are weird. And so this one will be customized. Of course, uh... It also bothers me a lot that they didn't paint the rear window. Uh, yeah, because these Taco Bell castings, they don't have interiors. So, they actually just made the windows metal. You can see that, the big chip right there. Yep, metal right behind the window. So, yeah, they have weight to them, which is pretty cool. And also, the rear bumper is metal. I don't know if it's like that on the lifted one or not. Well, this is a great casting. I love it. And uh, here we have oh, Wonky Willy over here. What? That's why I don't like the lifted truck castings. Because you can't restore them. You can't fix these wheels. Even if you bend them back a little bit, they're still going to be wonky. I'll probably just uh, lower this one to the ground. Because this thing's just messed up.
yeah, I think I got... How many of these things do I have now? I, I think I'm done with pickup trucks. Alright, now that's the end of Matchbox. Now it's Tamaka time. I did get a good amount of Tamakas from this guy, and it was very surprising. Some of them were American releases, but some of them weren't. I don't know how he got them, but he did. He got them from somebody. Somebody was selling a lot of Tamakas, apparently, because he's still selling more of them. I claimed more. I'll, I'll have another package from him in a month or so, probably. I'm just going to hold out until he posts all the Tamakas. But yeah, I don't know where these all came from. And actually, um, I also got this. Thought it was a Choro Q S2000, but it's actually like a little Disney World thing, but it does look like an S2000. Let me get the actual Choro Q S2000 and we'll compare. Actually, I think this is a dead ripoff of the Choro Q S2000. Um... Yeah, they just changed the headlights and, like, the front end a little bit. That's an S2000. <laughs> Trading Choro Q. I love my Choro Qs. I need more of them. Oh, uh, yeah, but there's your weird Disney World Buzz Lightyear S2000. Okay. Oh, one more before I get to the Tamakas. There was another Choro Q knockoff in there. It looked like a Mitsubishi Pajero, but I actually had to glue it, so it's downstairs, so I can't show it. He also had this. Mind you, the seller is in Colorado, and I thought he only buys from American sellers that are selling off their collection, and maybe someone was selling their Tamaka collection. They're all used. They're, like, really used. Like, beat, beat to hell and back and missing pieces and all that. But I, I don't know, like, they, whoever sold them to him did not know the value because he doesn't know the value. And maybe he does, but he's just selling them for cheap because he got them for cheap. But yeah, I got these for cheap. And <laughs> this one was very surprising because this is a Mitsubishi promo vehicle that was given out at their cafes way back when. I think they still do it. Uh, not particularly this one anymore. I think they switched to plastic. This is a metal one. This is the EK wagon. It's seen on the plate. Yeah, just a Mitsubishi made in China. Looks like it has a pullback, and it does pull back. Yeah, they still pull back. Oh, yeah, EK wagon. So this is a promotional vehicle from Mitsubishi that's only available in Japan at the Mitsubishi Cafe, one location. So somebody, somebody somewhere got a, went there and got it. This one's beat up. We're missing the rubber tires. Some kid had some fun with this one. But yeah, and the thing is, this is true 164 scale. There you go, Mr. Twice Diecast. Try to track some of these down. <laughs> he probably would. I'd be surprised if he does find... Or, I wouldn't be surprised if he finds one. They are cool. I, I suggest he can. Or, I, I, su I suggest he should track some down, because they're cool. Um, I need to find something to put tires on this. I don't think I got anything this small to steal the tires from. But yeah, just for size comparison. Um, here's some other true 164 scale K vehicles. It looks at home. After all, it is a quote unquote car. So it's going to look small against a van and an SUV. Um, yeah, K vehicles have their, key cars have their own uh, styles here. Yeah. There you go. It looks pretty good with them though. I like that. We'll just have them off to the side here. I'm not going to put them back. It's too cool. All right, we'll start with the American Tamaka releases. Some stuff. You know, I think he must have gotten these. Yeah, I think he got these before he got this random collection of Japanese Tamaka. But here's a couple of American releases. You know, they're all industrial vehicles. Nothing too big. Here's a crane. I could probably put this in that... Uh, um. The Hot Wheels utility truck. Just put this crane in there. <laughs> uh, I don't necessarily have any plans for any of these. I just... I just have Tomica problems. 
She's like, oh, it, oh, it's Tomiko. I'll take it. It's really, you know, cranes aren't really all that unless they have all their pieces. But maybe, maybe one day I'll find one that I can steal pieces off of. Maybe I can take two bad ones and make one good one. Uh, and now, now we got a hauler truck for it, actually. This one probably was a crane, too. I don't know. It's missing something on the back there. I'll just put those rails. Those rails ruin it. Actually, you know what? That's a better one. This is Mitsubishi Fusil. Yeah, I don't know what release this one was. Maybe it was... Oh. Why run the tanker? This one's the Coca-Cola one, though. Same truck. I think it's the Coca-Cola one. I don't know. That black thing says different. This black shred. Uh, I think yeah, that is the Coca-Cola one, though. That one might be better fit for that. At this point, I'm just going to make a Tomica junkyard. Because really, once they're missing this, there's no saving them. Once the whole back end's freaking gone. And I could pull pieces off of other non-Tamaka models, but that's just not going to look right. Because it won't be that Japanese style. This one, I think, was a crane as well. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure this one's a crane. I've seen... Uh, no, you know what? It was a cherry picker. This is a Nissan Carbell. Or yeah, it's a cowbell. Not a cowbell, cowbell. With an A. And no W. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Cowbell. And then we got a Toyota Dyna tow truck. This one's almost there, just missing its hook. I could probably get a reproduction matchbox one and stick it in there and you want to know the difference, but it's supposed to look like a JAF. But maybe they I think they changed it for the American release. Because of course people in America aren't gonna be familiar with JAF. That's like going over to Japan and talking about triple A. Like what the heck is that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this one was a surprise. When I bought this, I didn't know how good condition it was going to be. This is a Nissan Cedric. I should have checked. Cedric. Cedric Wagon. Uh, and it does have its megaphone. It just fell off. So I, I should glue it back in there. But it won't stay in there on its own. I'm going to have to hold it. Which I don't look forward to. Just, just take a moment and just look how good condition this is look at that grill nice and shiny look at that base shiny someone took care of this one this thing's minty just a couple chips along the roof line here maybe it fell off a shelf this side's fine uh well here let me show you my other one <laughs> the other one's not so pretty Where is it? I think it's in here. Oh, you know what? Here's a fusel. That's a Coca Cola one. Um, ah, yes. That's my other one. Yeah, big difference. I might actually, now that I got a mint one, I might convert this one to stock. Might convert it to a stock Nissan Cedric. That might be cool. Just have to fill in that one. And save these roof lights for later. Oh, look how good condition those even are in. Oh, yeah. This is a winner. And yes, this was sold in America. This is an American release. Uh, it could also be the Japanese one, too. There's really no way to tell the difference. Because uh, this is before they started putting the codes on the bottom. But uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is the American release. Because... I don't know. I don't think it would be in this good condition from Japan. <laughs> but it could be. 
All right, one more quote unquote American release. I think this one was an American release. It might not be. Sylvia Coop. Nissan Sylvia Coop. What is this? An uh, S10? S11? S12? <laughs> I don't know. One of them. Not officially, that's just what we call it. Because of the other ones. But, you know, Tomica calls it a Sylvia Coupe, so I should call it that too. This is a Sylvia Coupe. Not that they all are coupes. <laughs> well, I've never seen a coupe four door. Yeah, this thing's nasty. Look at that. Ooh. This paint's just bubbling right off. Don't know what happened to it. Totally have to maybe customize it. I don't know if I can restore it. That, that might be a bit annoying. Definitely customize it. Probably keep the Tomica. Actually, the Tomica wheels are in really good shape. I'll keep them. Keep the wheels. Maybe I could paint it black again. It's not a, It's not that white. Now let's get into some of the quote-unquote foreign ones. Basically, Tomica that were sold anywhere but America. Actually, this one... This one could have been an American release. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The Mitsubishi Pizarro. Yeah, it's missing its uh, door. <laughs> the lifted Pajero. Yeah, have you ever seen these wheels from Match or Tamika? Yeah, they existed for a while. I don't think they still do them anymore. We have a door on this side, at least. Pretty bummed that that one's missing a door, because this one would be a fun restoration. Look at just dusty got in there, though. Wonderful. All right. Here are some that you would not see in American Shores. These are all... He had to get them from somewhere. Imported them from Japan, Thailand, you know, somewhere in Asia. Australia, maybe. Yeah, but these are definitely not sold in America. So, And not a, he probably didn't import them. Someone he bought them from imported them. This is a Nissan Bluebird. You know, looking pretty good. We got a loose door on this side, but the other side don't have a door. And I thought this was the same casting as my uh, knockoff one. I had a really genius idea of pulling the door off the knockoff one and sticking it on here, but I realized they're two different year models and that door is smaller. So that looked good. This one, I guess, will be a junkyard model. Don't really know if I can replace the doors. Nobody really makes... Spare parts for Tomica. Hey, if you got a 3D printer, uh, I assume there's a big business for th replica Tomica parts. Because I need doors. <laughs> I don't know. They designed them so good so that the doors don't fall off. And then guess what happens? They fall off. Speaking of doors that have fallen off, actually... Uh, let me rephrase that. Doors that were ripped off the hinges. <laughs> this poor... This poor Nissan Serena. Nothing remains of this door. Actually, under the... There's a piece of it under the, the seats there. And then there's about... One-fourth of this door left. Just hey, look at that. We can slide it open. No, let me... Oh, hold on. Let me, let me open the door so you can get in. Oh, okay. All right, get in the vehicle. All right, let me shut the door so you're safe. Ah, yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know how this happens. They just snapped it right off. Yeah, at least the door handle's intact. Got another bummed one, because this one would be a fun restoration. If I could even find that color. Is that spinning the other way now? Yes, it is. Interesting. All right. I promise that all the other ones have their pieces. Got two of these, actually. Nissan Skylines. Always nice ones to add. I guess I got one to restore and one to customize. Luckily, they all have their headlights. Actually, this one will probably be the one I restore because... The headlights still have their chrome. A majority of it. 
Actually, maybe not. Maybe they're both bad. These ones are better. Well, if you need some skyline, they have opening doors. This one's got, this one comes with extra mud. Boom. Someone like freaking dragged it across the pavement, probably. Uh, window looks like it. I've seen that too. Yeah, this one, this one got clean windows. Whoever owned this one was nice to it compared to this one. <laughs> freaking. That sound like a cat probably did. Um, next up we got a Toyota Vitz. Yeah. Poor thing. I need I need wheels for this one, really. Actually, I need, I'm gonna need wheels for a couple of these. Especially the next one here, there's like a chunk out of the wheel that's just gone. Might have to uh, sacrifice some of the, the Walmart exclusive, uh, quote unquote exclusive. Here's a Toyota Vitz, it does have an opening trunk. Yeah, this one, look at Nissan Z. This is one I've been wanting. We got a chunk just out, right out of the wheel, right up there at the top. Um, and even over here, it's just. Yeah. I don't know, suspension's nice, but it doesn't really protect the axles. Turntable's going like really slow now. Um, we're almost done, we got four more. Actually, you know what? Turntable's just going way too slow. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. There you go. Funny that that's the only decal this thing had. Everything else is just red. That's an extra piece. Yeah, the Fair Lady Z. Um, this actually could have been an American release. But I doubt it was because it was with all of these um, overseas releases. This is the Mississoku Vute, based on the Nissan March, and I actually did end up getting a March from him. In my next purchase, we'll see when that one comes, and if, we'll see if it's any bigger. Um, but I have, I think I have a color to match this. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. This is a restoration of mine. By the way, tie lights look decent, but yep, that's a Tomica restoration I did. Uh, not really happy about the bubbling on the roof there. Actually, you know what? That's a typical thing that happened with the original ones. So, you know, and also the front piece got damaged. That that's why I really don't like the extra chrome pieces because they they're like right there in the front. I did a couple of restorations before. But I'm going to need some darker green for this one. If I do decide to restore it. Which I really want to. But of course if I really can't. I'm not going to do it. The Toyota Pro Box. I finally get another one to customize. I love these things. I have an original one. Actually, I actually have two of them. I have the American version. Uh, three of them. The American version in white. The Japanese version in white. And the pizza version in white. Which is also an American version. This is the Japanese version because it has a Tomy logo. If it was the American version, it would just be plain white. And it's got some tape on it. <laughs> that will be a fun restoration. I might actually make it match my uh, Lexus LS. Oh, actually, this one's missing a piece. This is quite sad. It's missing the headlight. This is a holy grail piece of mine, too. I always love the taxis. And oh yeah, speaking of LS, this is a Celsior. So this would be a second gen Lexus LS in America. Maybe a third gen. But uh, yeah, that's quite sad. This one's missing the headlight. Not that I was gonna... I don't know because... I really wanted to keep this one original, but it's just so bad. 
Actually, you know what? I can keep the original if it goes in the junkyard. <laughs> and lastly, I guess this one's maybe even sadder. It's a mint Honda Insight. Oh, what could be so sad about this minty Honda Insight? Well, minty for the most part. That the rear wheels have came out of the suspension piece and now they're just in there. And, you know, when I set it down, it's got a heavy load in the back there. Front, work, front works well, but the rear, no, broken. So, the only way to fix that would be to drill it. And I don't know, it's not It's not like it's completely mint. It does have a lot of chips in it. But we'll see, we'll see. All right, this video is 51 minutes. I'm gonna, that is it, that is the package. Awesome stuff, guys. Oh, and also, never mind. I'll say it in the next video. Never mind. All right. <laughs> that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you think. Take care. Bye.